Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time. Uh, a lot's been going on. A lot's been happening. My last video was a little update just talking about, uh, you know, kind of a, a bit of a negative thing that had happened. Uh, I'm not really ready to talk about that too much, but it was the, um, you know, it was a loss for sure. But, you know, Jamie and I are persevering. We are um, doing well and it is actually Sunday July 25th it is my birthday turning 38 today and I'm doing so from our new house we bought a house that was one of the things that has been tying me up and, um, and taking a lot of time out of my days lately and one of the reasons why I haven't been running and stuff like that but um, yeah so um, let's talk about that a little bit more Yeah, so let's talk about this house. Um, just gave a little shot of the backyard there. I'm not gonna be doing like a big house tour or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure Jamie will probably do something on her channel eventually when we get things finalized. But for right now, just uh, enjoying this outdoor section. I've got a nice big deck out the back here and then another building which you saw with another large deck and lots of options for outdoor hangout space, which if you know me, is amazing living in the apartment for the last two years and change uh, was a little bit tough because there wasn't really an outdoor space at all although I did have the trail really close by so I don't have the same trail system but I do have a trail um, just down across the road you know less than a kilometer away it's not quite as great and runnable um, I mean, it's runnable, but it's not quite as like groomed and really well maintained as the uh, the main trail that I was using in my old town. But still, lots of good running options, lots of uh, lots of good direction on the trail in either way, and lots of hills around here. So I'm in I'm in an area known as the Valley, the Annapolis Valley here in Nova Scotia. And yeah, so I mean, it's it's a mountainous area. Nothing extreme, of course. It's just the tail end of the Appalachian Mountains that extend into Nova Scotia, but lots of hills. So good for hill training. Not so great for really fast time trials or whatever, but there are some places not too far away that I can go for a nice flat route. In fact, there's a uh, 5K and 10K happening in about two weeks time in my nearest town, only about 10 minutes away. And it's uh, it takes place on this super flat road that we were driving the other day and I actually said, wow, this would be a great place for a 5K. Not realizing that that's exactly where they hold a 5K. So I'll probably do that. Uh, again, haven't been running really because I've just been so busy with um, you know the move. I mean, we put our offer in on the house in mid-May and got accepted in mid-May basically the same day or next day I don't really remember which closed on the house on June 30th had both places for July and just you know the back and forth because it is about an hour and a half drive away from where we were living so just the back and forth trying to do stuff with the car and you know minimizing uh, the U-Haul experience until we were really ready uh, and then, of course, you know, me still working and everything. And then I had a wisdom tooth pulled out a couple of weeks ago. And just, it was a lot going on all at once. And, you know, but here I am. And it feels amazing. <sighs> just feel so grateful to have the opportunity to work from home on a permanent basis. Like, you know, I ran, had to run that by the uh, the workplace. You know, my couple of direct managers. And just explain to them, look, you know. I'm working remotely for the last 15 months. Do you need me to come back to the office? Because I would love to keep working remotely. And in today's housing market, with the prices increasing and stuff, I just really wanted to buy a home and knew that I would probably have to widen the search to get into a comfortable price range. So I was able to get this place. Uh, I'm not going to talk numbers, of course, but I was able to get this place, which is a you know, two-bedroom, full basement with a den and an office for me and just all this deck space and everything else in this nice, quiet neighborhood 
for less than I would pay for, you know, a pretty shitty house that would need some work done in my old town. So, and then the taxes would have been astronomical there as well. So really, I mean, this is just such a bargain. And I think I probably even paid a little bit more than the usual going rate around here, but it was still just an absolute bargain. So no complaints there. And just, uh, I'm gonna enjoy my birthday, we got some, we, we've been doing lots of barbecuing. It feels so good to have a barbecue again. Oh my God, treated ourselves. So gonna have lots of Beyond Burgers, lots of, we had the Beyond Burgers, we had the uh, Garden Burgers, we've had some Light Life hot dogs, um, just a whole bunch in the last couple of days. Gonna do more of that today. Have some, have some beers to drink and it was just, uh, it was fun going through this entire process while also not telling anybody. Just revealed it today um, to my friends and family on Facebook because I just wanted to keep it a secret. You know, I just wanted it to be a surprise. And the anticipation was killing me, but <laughs> finally was able to do that. I actually woke up at like 4.30 this morning and just jumped on and posted about it and then went back to sleep. And, uh, yeah, feels good. So anyway, lots more to come. Um, still, you know, got, I'm back to work tomorrow. I was on vacation for the week. So still got lots to do with the house, but it's really just finishing touches stuff. And we did the whole paint job, you know, painted all the rooms and everything and, uh, tidied up the basement and made it like a really functional, usable, livable space. Um, so still lots to do, but it's mostly just the finishing touches now where it's really just kind of putting our stuff where we want, organizing things how we want. But, you know, maybe when that's all done, like I say, Jamie might do like a house tour on her channel or something. I'll probably just be running some live streams from my office now that I got that good set up again. Doing lots of videos again about running when I pick that back up. And I'm booked solid from mid-August to mid-September with dog sitting and stuff, like house sitting. Some, like, back in the other part of the province um, that I was living in. So just, it's going to be a busy, busy summer, but it's going to be great. And I'm looking forward to it. And just really grateful for this. 38 years old, finally a homeowner. I know I don't want to put pressure on anybody who um, isn't there yet because I know it's a grind. It's tough. It's tough to get the down payment. You get stuck in the rental trap, but... Here we are, it feels great, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for following along on this journey. So far in the years I've been doing this, and more to come. All right, peace.